Welcome to MA Tech. Today, we're diving into everything you need to know about the Samsung S25 series, from exciting new features to the latest leaks. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to launch in early 2025, and it will debut Samsung's latest software, One UI 7. Leaks indicate that One UI 7 closely resembles the beta seen on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, with some refined design changes. One of the most exciting updates is the redesigned command center, offering users more convenience and customization than ever before. One of the standout features of One UI 7 is its new command center, now accessible by swiping from the right side of the home screen. This design tweak brings frequently used controls like volume and brightness sliders within closer reach, while keeping the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings positioned at the top. This setup is designed to improve user efficiency by organizing controls in a way that feels more natural and intuitive. The layout of One UI 7 is focused on improving navigation, especially with controls that users access frequently. By making essential features like volume and brightness sliders easily accessible, Samsung has optimized the user experience without cluttering the interface. This redesign offers a more intuitive, streamlined control system, making everyday tasks quicker and smoother for users of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. While One UI 7 could be hinted at before the end of 2024, it is likely to release officially with the Galaxy S25 Ultra in early 2025. Samsung is expected to synchronize the launch of its new software with its flagship device, ensuring that the Galaxy S25 Ultra fully showcases the potential of One UI 7. The combination of cutting-edge hardware and software will deliver a seamless, upgraded smartphone experience. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is embracing a more refined and ergonomic design, as suggested by leaked renders and dummy units. Departing from the sharper edges of its predecessor, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the S25 Ultra is opting for rounded corners that give it a modern and comfortable aesthetic. This design change is expected to make the device easier to hold, offering better grip and usability for longer periods, a notable improvement for users seeking comfort in daily use. In addition to the rounded corners, the Galaxy S25 Ultra features a slimmer profile with dimensions of 162.82 x 77.65 x 8.25 mm. This thinner design is not only visually appealing but also enhances the overall comfort of the device. With its sleek profile, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be easier to manage and use, especially during tasks that require extended screen time, offering users a more seamless and enjoyable experience. A major highlight of the Galaxy S25 Ultra is the rumored return of the titanium frame, a feature introduced in the S24 Ultra. This time, Samsung is expected to use Grade 5 titanium, a material renowned for its strength and durability, making the phone highly resistant to wear and tear. Grade 5 Titanium is the same material used in the latest iPhone models, and its inclusion in the S25 Ultra signals Samsung's commitment to providing users with a premium, long-lasting device. With its ergonomic design and durable titanium frame, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to deliver a perfect balance of aesthetics and strength. The device's modern look, combined with a tough exterior, offers a blend of style and reliability that users will appreciate. These enhancements reflect Samsung's focus on creating a device that is not only visually stunning but also built to withstand the rigors of everyday use. Samsung has always been at the forefront of display technology, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to uphold this legacy. Rumors suggest a slightly larger 6.86-inch display, thanks to slimmer bezels and a taller aspect ratio. This provides more screen space, ideal for immersive gaming, video streaming, and overall media consumption. Samsung's focus on maximizing screen real estate without increasing the phone's physical footprint is a welcome improvement for those who appreciate large, vibrant displays. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to continue using an advanced LTPO AMOLED panel, maintaining the QHD Plus resolution of 3088 by 1440 pixels seen in its predecessor. This high-resolution display ensures crisp visuals, whether you're watching videos or navigating apps. The 120Hz adaptive refresh rate will provide smooth, lag-free scrolling and gaming, adjusting seamlessly depending on the content, further enhancing the user experience. This combination of high-resolution and adaptive refresh makes the display one of the standout features of the S25 Ultra. 
One of the key upgrades anticipated for the Galaxy S25 Ultra is a significant boost in peak brightness. This enhancement will improve visibility in bright outdoor conditions, making it easier to view content even under direct sunlight. Whether you're using your phone for navigation, reading, or gaming outside, this increase in brightness will make the display more adaptable to any environment. The use of M14 materials in the construction of the Galaxy S25 Ultra's display is another exciting rumor. These advanced materials are expected to improve the efficiency and longevity of the panel, potentially leading to better battery performance. By enhancing power efficiency, the S25 Ultra's display will likely consume less energy without sacrificing the vibrant and sharp visuals Samsung displays are known for. This will result in a superior viewing experience with extended battery life, perfect for users who need their phones to last throughout the day. Samsung is preparing to launch the Galaxy S25 series in early 2025, but we're already getting glimpses of what's to come. According to reliable sources like Ice Universe, the components for these phones are already in production. This early insight gives us a head start on understanding what the Galaxy S25 lineup will bring to the table. A leaked photo of the Galaxy S25 display assembly recently surfaced online. The image showcases the phone's front design, confirming some key details. These leaks suggest that all three models, the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra, will feature noticeably thinner bezels compared to their predecessors, enhancing the overall screen-to-body ratio. One of the most exciting aspects of the leak is the confirmation of thinner bezels across the Galaxy S25 series. This design choice will provide a sleeker, more modern look, giving users a more immersive display experience. Thinner bezels are a significant trend in flagship phones, and Samsung seems ready to push the boundaries even further. Another key design update focuses on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The Ultra model is expected to come with slightly more rounded corners compared to previous iterations. This small but significant change could improve both the aesthetic appeal and ergonomics of the phone, making it more comfortable to hold and use. According to recent reports, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to match the impressive 6.9 screen size of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This marks a strategic move by Samsung to compete directly with Apple's flagship, offering a larger display for users who prefer big screen phones. Along with the size, the S25 Ultra is also expected to have even thinner bezels, measuring 0.2 mm less than those on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Galaxy S25 lineup was initially expected to follow its predecessors by offering Exynos chips in the standard and plus models, while the Ultra variant would exclusively feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. However, recent reports suggest that Samsung may not be able to deliver the Exynos 2500 chip in time for the S25 launch. If this holds true, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 might be used across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup, marking a significant shift in Samsung's strategy. The delay in Exynos development could lead to all three Galaxy S25 models using the Snapdragon chipset. This move would ensure consistency in performance across the lineup, as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is known for its top-tier power and efficiency. Samsung has traditionally split its chip offerings based on region, but this change could lead to a more unified global release, enhancing overall performance for all users. If Samsung does switch fully to Qualcomm chips for the Galaxy S25, it could create a more streamlined production process while also boosting consumer confidence in the lineup's performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to deliver high-end performance, which would put the Galaxy S25 series in direct competition with other flagship models like the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This chipset change could also lead to better optimization and battery efficiency across all S25 variants. Samsung was initially expected to launch the Galaxy S25 series in January 2025, following its usual release timeline. The vanilla Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus were set to feature Exynos chips, while the high-end S25 Ultra would come with the Snapdragon processor. This approach was in line with Samsung's tradition of offering different chipsets for its models based on regions and variants. Recent reports from Korea suggest that Samsung might not be able to stick to its original plan. The company is facing production issues with the Exynos 2500 chipset, specifically low manufacturing yields. 
These challenges mean Samsung might not be able to produce enough Exynos chips in time for the January 2025 launch, causing significant delays. As a result of the production issues, Samsung may be forced to rely entirely on Snapdragon processors across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup. This would mark a notable shift in strategy, as the Snapdragon chip would power not just the Ultra model but also the vanilla Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus variants. This decision could help Samsung avoid launch delays while ensuring consistent performance across all models. Switching entirely to Snapdragon could streamline production and ensure that Samsung meets its January 2025 launch window. Snapdragon processors are known for their power and efficiency, which could enhance the user experience across the Galaxy S25 series. This decision might also be seen as a positive by consumers who prefer Snapdragon chips over Exynos for their better performance, especially in global markets. According to a report by Business Korea, Samsung's 3 nanometers chip production is experiencing low yields. While exact figures were not provided, low yield refers to the efficiency of producing quality chips from a silicon wafer. In the chip industry, not all chips make the cut, and some are discarded due to defects or poor quality. This variability in production is affecting Samsung's ability to meet demand, particularly for its next-gen Exynos 2500 chips. With the low yield issues at Samsung Foundry, the company may be forced to rely on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is also rumored to be marketed as the Snapdragon 8 Elite. This shift would be a blow to Samsung's semiconductor division, which was hoping to push its own Exynos chips for the Galaxy S25 series. However, using Snapdragon across all models might ensure a smoother production process and on-time release for the highly anticipated phones. Samsung's struggle with 3 nanometers chip production is not only affecting its smartphone plans but also its broader semiconductor business. The company has already lost major clients like Nvidia and Apple, who have turned to TSMC for their AI-enabled chip production. If Samsung continues to face setbacks in chip manufacturing, it risks losing more market share in the highly competitive semiconductor industry. TSMC's ability to produce high-quality AI-enabled chips has made it the go-to choice for companies like Apple and NVIDIA. If Samsung cannot resolve its 3 nanometers yield issues, TSMC will likely continue dominating the market, further distancing itself from Samsung Foundry. This situation highlights the growing importance of reliable and efficient chip production in the competitive tech landscape, and Samsung's reliance on Snapdragon for its flagship Galaxy S25 lineup might be a temporary solution to a larger problem. Imagine the sleek design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra paired with Samsung's upcoming One UI 7. This is the future of mobile technology. According to a new leak from Ice Universe, a well-known tipster, the Galaxy S25 Ultra has been revealed in a stunning mock-up, giving us a glimpse of how the phone will look running Samsung's new user interface. The image shows the phone's new design elements in harmony with the fresh visual overhaul of One UI 7. One of the most noticeable features in the leaked image is the new command center, or what some might call the control center, sitting at the top of the screen. This area of the user interface has undergone a significant redesign, providing easier access to essential controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and notifications. Samsung's One UI 7 is expected to offer a more intuitive experience, with this new command center being a central part of its usability enhancements. The combination of One UI 7 and the Galaxy S25 Ultra's hardware promises an exciting user experience. The mock-up shows how the redesigned interface complements the phone's larger 6.9 display, making everything feel more seamless and modern. With the thinner bezels, the command center's smooth animations, and clean layout, users will enjoy both visual and functional improvements on their flagship device. The leaked image leaves plenty of room for speculation on what other changes One UI 7 might bring. Alongside the command center, we might see revamped icons, improved customization options, and new animations that take full advantage of the Galaxy S25 Ultra's powerful hardware. These enhancements are expected to make everyday tasks more efficient and enjoyable, providing a futuristic, polished feel for users. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to launch in early 2025, and it will feature Samsung's latest One UI 7 software. According to leaks, the software closely matches the beta version seen running on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but with a few fresh design tweaks. 
One of the standout features is the new command center, which adds a new layer of convenience and customization to the phone's user interface. The command center in One UI 7 is now accessible by swiping from the right side of the home screen, while the separate notification area remains on the left. This redesigned layout is built for user convenience, bringing essential sliders, like volume and brightness, closer to your fingertips. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings, which are used less frequently, remain positioned at the top, creating a more streamlined user experience. The new placement of controls within One UI 7 makes navigating the Galaxy S25 Ultra much more intuitive. By organizing the most frequently used features, like volume and brightness, within easy reach, Samsung has improved usability without compromising on design. This small but important tweak adds an extra layer of convenience, making everyday tasks faster and more efficient for users. Although One UI 7 could be teased before the end of this year, it's unlikely to release before the Galaxy S25 Ultra arrives in early 2025. Samsung is likely timing the release of its new software alongside its flagship phone, ensuring that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be the first to showcase the full potential of One UI 7. With both the hardware and software working together, users can expect a seamless and enhanced smartphone experience. Thanks for joining us.